about, folks. It's almost the end of April. Got the greenhouse fire going. Some tomatoes and cabbage and kale started in there. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but I started then the little vineyard project. Along with working up some new ground for the garden. Give this ground over here a rest this year, next couple of years. Well, the good news is, is it hasn't snowed in a bit. But it's supposed to be down to freezing tonight. That's why I got that fire burning. And, uh, got to put in about probably 30 more, man, maybe 50 more fence posts. Maybe I'll give you a little lesson on putting in a post the proper way. Well, the way I was taught anyway. All right, folks, I'll catch up with you next time. Well, folks, the vineyard's coming along. We've got uh, three sets of three of the rows out of the six completed, and I'm working on the fourth one. So I'm over halfway done with the, putting the fence post in for it. Somebody asked if I had a uh, power auger, and I said, yeah, a post hole digger and two arms. I didn't think that was too funny, but uh, it's a good workout. And uh, just got to, I'm gonna put some of these posts in, so and then maybe show you folks how to how I was taught to make sure they're nice and snug after you put them in the hole. See you in a few, folks. Well, folks, there I've got some, uh, got four holes dug out of the ten in this row. And I don't know if you can see that. Got that? Uh, there's a green line right there. Just kind of uh, to keep everything on my post straight. Sorry about the high wind out here. It's so windy, but it's a windy day. So what I do is I dig the hole deep. Start it with a shovel. You saw me maybe breaking that first layer of sod off with the shovel, and then I dig it deep and as deep as I can go with the shovel. 
because it's quicker than the post hole digger and then I use a shovel handle as to, to measure the depth how deep I need to go I want to go about three feet for these posts and then I use these post hole diggers otherwise known as the power auger and uh, finish that hole off so I got one more at the end here to put in and then I'll put the post in and start backfilling them and show you some of that one more thing folks I got this I'm using this as a marking stick but take these size 12s and I'm putting these posts 12 feet apart so uh, 12 feet center to center <clears throat> so I just mark out 12 feet and I stick this here where the center of the post will be till I can get the shovel over here to break that sod and uh, start digging that hole but uh, that spacing is all based on the type of grapevine you uh, you want to put in. In my case, uh, the vines I'm going to do are are uh, they recommend six foot apart. So I set my row spacing at six feet, and then my plants I'll be planting them every six feet. So these posts are 12 feet, so they'll be two plants in between the post and uh, that's about it but you can put the post further apart but I'm trying to I don't have a whole lot of property here so I'm trying to maximize my land okay folks catch you in a few Got that post, got the post put in place, and then uh, I'm just eyeballing these things to keep them plumb. These are a little bigger posts on the ends. But uh, so, what I do next is take some of this dirt, dump it around the base of that post after I get it. Kind of where I want it, and then uh, take the end of the shovel handle and just tamp, tamp that dirt down. Around the base. So that helps hold it in place. So, and add a little more. Do the same thing. You might want to just check and see if that post is where you want it before you tamp it all down. As far as being up and down, straight and true, is as you get more dirt in, it's hard to move, hard to move it. Sometimes you'll have more dirt on one side than the other, because I had to push that over against the bank to get it straight. That's all there is to it, folks. It's not rocket science. Just a little time and energy. 
pretty much like most things are. You just gotta get out there and do it, so. What I always say is don't spend all your time watching videos. Just get out and get her done, so to speak. All right, folks, I'm gonna put this camera down so I can use two hands and get the rest of these in. Folks, there it is. Got the uh, post in for the vineyard, and they're all uh, I'm just waiting for the vines to show up now, about one week from now. And then I'll be putting those in, and uh, got to run some a strand of wire at the about 18 inches off the ground there on each one of these rows, but. Uh, now my focus is on the garden. So today I've got some putting in some onions and hopefully I'll have time to put some potatoes in as well. They're under the ground so they got some protection from frost if we get any. There's a chance we could get one more but uh, next week I guess. But. So, it's a beautiful day here at the old headquarters, and it's probably, it's in the 50s. The wind's blowing hard though, it's a little chilly. But I'll catch up with you folks next time.